Right here I have the first test I did on a two and a half inch diameter screw and it turned out really well. I just used a piece of wood from our, our firewood pile so the log was fairly green so it's still fairly wet and you can see it turned out a little rough. But the fit of the screw is very good and I'll show you. So works very nicely and the screw is a nice fit. There's only very little slop and it's just enough to make the turning of the screw run smoothly. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, I guess final copy. Here we have the jig for making two and a half inch diameter screws. All it is is a block of wood with a two and a half inch hole and the nut that accepts the screw with a router clamped on top. It's very similar to how the Beale wood threader works except it's a lot larger. You have a 90 degree cutter on the router. I've made a plastic base for the router that has crosshairs. See the crosshairs? And those are just to help align the bit. When you plunge the router down, you have to get the bit um, centered on the thread of the nut and you have to make sure you plunge the bit low enough so that the threads that are being cut will ride smoothly through the nut but you don't want to go too low otherwise it'll take too much off and the screw will fit too sloppy in the nut. Um, when you make wooden screws first use a sacrificial piece to set the position of the bit in the router uh, properly. You can see here where the bit is. It's just slightly lower than the inside diameter of the threads and it's positioned um, in this direction so that the cutter is directly centered on that thread. So after you clamp this block on Use your drill with that same bit and take off about 3 sixteenths of the nut so that the first thread here is cut um, halfway through. Here I have the dowel that will be made into my screw from my shoulder vise.